What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. In this episode, I want to walk all you beginners through your first day at the track. So let's just get into this thing because I know that's what you're here to do. So first things first, you drive in the gate. Our gate has to be over there. You pay them money, they're going to hand you a thing called a tech card. So essentially it has stuff you need to fill in, write down. Then you take that and you save it here if you have any over to this line here. If the announcer wants to rattle stuff off that's on your tech card so he knows what to talk about, that's how they know all those magical things. Some of them are very funny and very witty, but they're cheating because they have your tech card in the booth. So, once you get that done, we can go over to the staging lanes and we'll show you there. We'll start there and then we'll move on to the tree and then how you make a pass and exit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on over to lanes. So once you're teched in, you put your safety gear and stuff on, you got your car ready, you pull it into lanes. So I know you probably heard that term. That is where you sit and wait. Sometimes you don't wait that long. Other times you might spend a whole day there. And that's part of the fun of drag racing. But I'll show you the line, show you where people are waiting. There's different lanes, um, in lanes, yeah, go figure, where some are for faster cars, some are for brackets, some are different lights. There's different lights that people cut and all that fun stuff. But typically, what gets written on your window is where you will go in lanes, and there's usually a guy directing you. So, this is a look at lanes. There stands the gas are looking good. And you can see there's several different ones. They're numbered one to five at my local track. Uh, some tracks are different, but that is a look at lanes. We'll see if we can sneak over here without getting yelled at. So there you go. So those are the lanes, that's where you sit and wait. And then that takes us over to where you actually stage and race. So we are now on the track. For those of you beginners that are into drag races that want to come out here, let me explain how this actually works and how it goes down. Well, I got the track all to myself. And thank you very much to Irwindale for allowing me to come over here and do this while everybody's on lunch break. So when you pull in, you come through lanes. This is the water box. They're gonna pull you in you're gonna get your back tires wet and you'll roll past the water box. You wanna do your burnout and then you start rolling forward. Now, there are beams here. So see these holes here? They go all the way across. There's two of them. When you break the beam here, it lights the bulb here, see? I'll show you guys again. So if my foot goes in the beam, that's the top bulb, and it goes to the second one, and they're both on. So what you need to do is you light the first one by rolling in. When that one's lit, the second one will light up. When both sets are lit, that means this car is staged here, the car in the other lane is staged, then the Christmas tree will drop. So let me show you guys that. So this is the Christmas tree. These top bulbs are called the staging bulbs. The first one is when you're close. The second one is when you're staged. And again, all four of those need to be lit in order for these to drop in sequence. It goes yellow, 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 and then green. Just a tip, you wanna go on the third yellow because of reaction time and your car moving. It's actually pretty slow. It's slower than you think, so if you let go, of your brake or your button here, you'll go by the time that turns green, you'll get a good light. Oh no! <laughs> the other quick thing too, is sometimes you'll see both of these lit up. If you roll 
past it even more, the top one will turn off and then you're deep staged. But typically you don't really want to mess with that, do that, especially if it's your first time out. This is the Christmas tree and that is basically how you race. So you're cruising. You're on the gas, let off. At the sign, that's the eighth mile time. And there's a sign that says break. So essentially, you need all of this left on the track to slow down, right? So, we're down here, you're on the brakes. There's a turnout down there where the wall ends the K rail. You can make a right hand turn, you come right back up this road. This is the return road here. So you can cruise on back up and get your time slip down there. If for some reason your car is fast and you can't stop here, you continue to go all the way down and there's an exit at the end. You make a right hand turn and you'll go all the way around this stuff and there's cones set up and it leads you all the way back. So essentially you come right back up and you end in the return road. So once you're in the return road, there's a little sign that says time slips. There's a hut there. The awesome gentleman will give you a time slip. And that is it. You made your first pass. You can go over it. You can improve it. You're going to be hooked. So I hope you guys go drag racing. I hope you enjoy it. Take your friends. Maybe go watch, uh, you know, and then walk around the pits. Don't just sit in the stands. You can walk to lanes. You can walk all around. If you get one of these wristbands when you get in, you can essentially, you know, go in all the lanes and walk all around. Obviously, you're not going to go walk down the track, but you can get up kind of closer to the track if you have a wristband than just sitting in the stands and kind of get a feel for it maybe before you bring your car and run it. But talk to the people, everybody that comes to the drag strip that I've ever met for the most part um, are typically nice people. And this is a pro tip, if you find a guy that looks like he's got a sloppy kind of build, those guys are usually a lot nicer than the guys with the high dollar stuff nine times out of 10 because the guys with the real high dollar stuff typically are very serious, they're here to race, you might be wasting their time. An average guy like me, you know, you see a guy with like a flatbed, normal stuff, nine times out of 10, they're nice. But sometimes you get the big boys with the nice stuff are real nice too, but if you're a super beginner, um, follow these steps, you can walk around, like I said, talk to people, everybody's really nice, get a feel for it. We all want everybody to drag race because if you guys don't come out drag racing, we're not gonna have any tracks and then I can't drag race and I'm gonna be sad. So get out there, Go drag race. If you have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section. I will do my best to answer anything you guys do not understand. But uh, go do some burnouts. Let's make drag racing fun again.